what is up you guys and welcome back to another video as you guys can see over there we got the duramax warming up got it getting ready to go and we got to get the tractor right here started up and figure out how to get all this loaded back onto the trailer because we're actually going to meet a farmer one that we've actually done work for i don't know if you guys remember the video where we did the little land clearing um i think well, that's been a little while back but anyway we did some work for this guy that uh has got back in touch with me because he saw the tractor online for sale he agreed to give me eight thousand dollars for it didn't even try to talk me down so we're gonna go see if we can get this sold to make that eight grand now we're gonna head over there meet him get this sold and we got to get back here because we got some very very important stuff happening so you guys be sure to stick around for that man the tractor really does drive so good what i'm gonna do here is try to pull up to the front loader and i'm gonna try to do the best i can to make it stay so it won't really line up i'm gonna get some hammers and kind of knock some stuff around to see if it will possibly just somewhat go on there in order to get it on the trailer i don't know if you guys can tell right now but man uh yeah that thing's pretty beat up but like i said he knows it's messed up he knows that it needs work and he is willing to put in the time to fix it he said he mainly just needs the tractor but being that it does come with a front loader it's basically a bonus for him now you guys have been asking me about the Peterbilt. You guys can see it just hiding away, and we just hadn't had a chance to make up our mind on what color scheme we want to use on the Peterbilt. But we're going to get it. You know, we're still doing that. We got to work on the Rivian. We got a lot of projects going on that we got to finish up, get tackled, and just get complete the way we can start putting them to use. Uh-oh, I'm about to pass this up. Man, the brakes are literally no good on this truck at all. Anyway, here is the farmer this is who we're going to be meeting okay let's not get wrecked so i guess i'm going to pull up in here and get over on this side i figure this would probably this probably work right here just like this that'll work and man he's got some bright lights is that on the trailer that's doing that man those are bright i need to get a setup like that for my trailer i'm going to talk to him real quick you guys he doesn't want to be on camera for the transaction so i'm not going to film all of that so once i see you guys again we probably will not have a tractor and we'll be headed out of here with eight thousand dollars all right you guys we got the tractor sold right there so we got the little eight thousand dollars made there bringing us to a little over one hundred and fifteen thousand. now i actually got to go back here to the house i'm going to get pulled around right here kind of do a little circle in the driveway you guys look at this when i was loading up the tractor earlier yeah it was a it was quite a bit of fight and i managed to mess up the driveway a little bit right there so we'll have to take the kids here right here and go over that and fix it now one thing we do have to do today is go ahead and finish getting the driveway built for the shop over there the other kind of like storage shop is for right now what we're using it for so we got to go get a load of rock from our boss's house i talked to him he doesn't mind he's just going to give it to us for free so we don't have to pay anything for the rock now after today though we got to get back over there to where everything happened and we wrecked the tractor into the washout yeah we got to get that job taken care of the guy's waiting and we're not able to get there today because i think it rained really bad so it's really muddy and he doesn't want to mess up any of his back road area to be able to get to his pond no worse than it already is you know it's already washed out but he doesn't want to make things worse so we got to wait on that but for today we're going to go and get us some load of rock real quick get the driveway all finished up over there at the storage shop and it should look really good when we get done with it all right i just got back to the house you guys i ran and got the dump trailer and we're gonna try this real quick we're gonna try to just load up the skid steer inside of here it should work out pretty good and we may be able to fit all the rock in here and be able to haul the skid steer i don't know we're gonna see what will happen if not you know what why don't we just go ahead and hook up to that trailer too because, yeah, we're going to need a good bit of rock for over there. And by the time this is full, man, we're not going to be able to have any room for the skid steer. Maybe that's just the way we are parked on the driveway. I was like, man, this is not going to work. We need to figure out something else if that's how that's sitting while we're trying to haul stuff. Now, I don't think the bucket will fit. But that'll be okay because we can just kind of lower it down. And we should be okay. We'll just lower it down on top of the rails right here. And it should work out just fine all right got that all loaded up man and we got a load here today not quite as much of a load as we had the day when we had all the rock in the dump trailer here but you know it, it's fairly close in a way kind of we'll see here in a minute we're gonna have a full load of rock we're gonna see how this new suspension on the duramax does because i took a lot of time to improve it and help it haul all these super heavy loads a lot better make her right right here swing out wide because man do we have a load today now here we are coming up to the contractor's shop 
I don't see any rock out there by the forklift. He said to look around back and there should be a pretty good couple piles that we can use. But that, I think that's all he's got. He's got to get more rock as well. So he's been going through some rock here, man. Yeah, I don't see any over there. I'm going to get pulled around right here real quick and get these skids here off the trailer. All right, we're going to make our little trip back here and get her up. Okay, so we got our first load here. Go and get this dumped in the trailer, and we have to make a lot more. Let's see how this does, though. First little load of rock that we've carried in the skid steer. So, doesn't seem top-heavy. Seems like it's doing great. Way better than the tractor. Okay, it's a little rocky, but nothing too terrible. Like, that was a full load of rock, and it handled it perfectly. So, I think we definitely got our money's worth with this skid steer. Even though it has the aftermarket rims, man... You cannot tell, and it still performs like any other skid steer, possibly better. Well, obviously better. I mean, we got rims. Who else has rims on their skid steer? I got pretty much everything that he had behind the shop, and we're going to see how far this load of rock will go for us when it comes to laying it down on our driveway. I'm going to start working on the side that's closest to our shop, our uh, fab shop there, and see if we can have enough rock in order to go from that road all the way up to the shop. I'll show you guys a little more in detail once we get there. All right, we're headed out with our load of rock. Now, we don't quite have as much rock as we did initially when the truck was like, man, it was coming off the ground. If you guys remember that video, but um, front end was coming off the ground. It was bouncing around. It was, uh, it was rough, man. I'm just glad we made it to where we were headed to. And thank goodness we did because that landed us so many more jobs with the contractor there. I just want to get pulled out here into the field a little bit. And I'm going to get everything unloaded. Let's see, I think I'm going to put the load of rocks kind of right here. Somewhat middle ways to where we can work both directions with it. All right, well, I'm going to be completely honest, you guys. I got set up for my thumbnail just then. And I really just felt like dumping the rocks right here would look best. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of why that's there. But anyway, we're going to just start spreading rock from here now. And kind of see how far we can make it hopefully pretty far and hopefully it all goes well and it's enough rock honestly to cover at least from the road right up there all the way up to the shop and mostly to the other road grab our first little load here I'm gonna head up here get to spreading some rock and see how much more we're gonna need hopefully not much and hopefully we can get pretty much all of it done I'm gonna start making our way back right here one thing I am noticing about the skid steer here is that it backs up and dumps so much better than the tractor did i'm gonna try to slow it down a pretty good bit coming through here because we got the pile of rock that is pretty much going to be here anyway keep on making away dump a little bit more there and we're actually making it a good ways if we can make it around the curve right here around the little turn we'll slack up a little bit to make sure we got enough rock to cover this area and look at that, you guys. I'm thinking, judging by what we have, yeah, we should make it a good ways. I'm going to continue to work on all this, and I'll get back up with you guys here in a little while. All right, you guys, we just got finished up. Now, I've been working for like the past four and a half hours to get all this done. Got it all smoothed out with the bucket. Good steer really did good. It did great through this little job. Absolutely love it. Do not regret that purchase at all. Even does good with the aftermarket wheels that are on it. Now you can see we kind of smoothed out and put rock there. Come all the way down here. I'll kind of walk you guys back here real quick. We did manage to get all the rock spread right here on up to the door there. Now it did get a little thin right there. You can kind of see it. it looks like a little dirt's trying to come through. But you know, it, it worked out. I kind of had to do that through little areas to kind of stretch the rock as far as I could to make sure we could make it as far as we could you know so now this is as far as i could get with the rock so we do have this little bit left so what i did do is come through here smoothed it out with the skid steer i got it ready for another load of rock it's not going to take much and i kind of brought it all the way up to here i may go ahead and bring some dirt in too to kind of level this out to where this is more of a gradual drop off and it's not so sudden like this because coming in with different kind of trailers we're not going to be able to get in right here and it's going to be uh it's going to be pretty rough could possibly even flip us over so we don't want that so we'll kind of work this area get it all smoothed out i did take down an extra part of the fence there and then obviously i took down all of this and yeah man i think it turned out really good so now we have this little road to access this other shop and that's going to be one of many things we'll be doing to this shop over here but i think for today you guys we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here if you guys did enjoy this one be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye guys